welcome back to your channel now today's video is going to be just a very quick one um, I hope this is going to be your ultimate favorite free soap liner that you're going to make and enjoy the rest of your life so if you have a love and hate relationship with your potato peeler like I do because sometimes it works nicely and sometimes it doesn't this one might be a life changer for you so let's just jump right into it and let me show you how to make it Okay, so what we're going to do tonight, we are going to replace this lovely potato peeler. Hopefully, that we never need to use this again. So, let me just quickly show you on the side, a little bit of darker background. Um, what I've done here is I've made for myself a planer out of a credit card or a loyalty card that I found. And I made a double-sided one. If I can do it over the lighter side here it's got a smaller little rounded corner and the larger one the reason for that is the smaller corner here maybe it's the dark background not the best idea here on the smaller one you take a smaller piece of soap out of there and then on the larger side then you can have a larger side as well so you can decide on how much you want to take away of your soap so I'm gonna make a double-sided one here for you you are going to need a drill you're going to need two drill bits so let me just put the drill to that side and quickly show you here um, I've got two drill bits the one is um, 8 millimeters the other one is 12 millimeters this one is one for metal this one is one for wood but both of them are working fine here you are going to need something to mark your plastic with or your cord and a ruler to measure stuff out you're going to need a piece of wood that you can actually drill into and not dam damage your surface so if you're working outside or something you don't need this extra little piece of wood but I've got it here you might need a little piece of uh, sanding paper here an emery board a scissor that is going to be able to cut your plastic and you are going to need a loyalty card or you're going to need a sturdy piece of plastic here as well so i'm going to show you on the white one because it's just going to show up better than on the loyalty card with all the lines and drawings and so on so what we're going to do here is let me just quickly show you i've made a print out here okay the main thing here first the larger the hole the larger the rounded corner here the smaller the hole, the smaller, smaller the rounded corner is going to be here as well. You need to get a 90 degree in your plastic or in your loyalty card. So let me show you here. If you put it like that, you need to get a 90 degree. But the size of the hole is going to depend on how much soap you're going to take away here on the corners here. So if you have a larger hole, then it's going to be more soap. But you are going to end up with a 90 degree again here so you're always going to work with a 90 degree so let's take that one away there we go so here is our loyalty card i'm just going to measure i'm going to draw one on this piece of plastic for you guys here that's just so it can show up nice and neatly so there we go I'm just going to cut this one out this one is actually a gardening shear but it works awesomely for all pieces of stuff that needs a little bit hammering so please do not use your fabric scissors although trust me ladies that buy their own fabric scissors they will not use it for anything else because the stuff is made of gold or something gold plated at least because it's very expensive and i must say tupperware lids and stuff usually you always have lids without the bottoms or the bottoms without the lids so just keep them you can use them for something else again 
So there we go. We have a loyalty code there. You can use a loyalty code as well. That's why I say this is for free. Loyalty codes usually are free. You don't need to buy them. You don't need to pay for them. So now we're just going to take this one and we're going to find the middle. So here we go. Let's go there. Side. And just draw a line from the one side to the other side. Now this, if it's a little bit skew, it's not going to influence your soap planer at all. So I'm just going to measure around about one and a half centimeters in. And the other side as well. This can be a little bit more. I don't think you should go a little bit less, but yeah, there we go. So next we're going to do is you're going to hit something on the bottom and drill the four cells. So let's do the big ones from the first. There we go. I'm just going to move this a little bit to this side. Let's see how this camera in, buddy. Go. and you're going to draw your first hole here you can stop halfway because the plastic gets warm and then it melts rather than drill so just Take your time and take a little bit at a time. There we go. See this one, it melted a little bit. But that's on the other side that we're going to cut out anyway, so it's not going to be a big issue. Just going to cut it off. There we go, that was hole number one. Even if it's wonky, it's still gonna work. Just change the drill bits. This is the smaller one. You can make a cord with only one hole as well. You don't need to do the double-sided thing. But while we're at it, why not? Oops. Obviously a little bit faster than the first one. There we go. Two very wonky holes. Okay, now we need to get the 90 degree sides here as well. So you can do it with these lines if you want to or just another piece of paper let's just put it like this if you can get let's just fold this in half so this might be the easiest way for you to do it because you don't have a printout paper like I do here so there we go like this one And I'm just gonna half it there. So now what you can do is you can look through the hole and move it down the side and then you can have your two lines oops I moved it a bit and the other side as well so from the side of the hole to the end of the paper there. And remember, we don't want to draw the line to the top here. We need the line 90 degrees, but it's going to touch there. So 
uh, there we've got the first one I'm just going to turn it around for the other side as well so there's the paper I've got my line here and I'm going to move it up until both sides are covered there there's the side and there's the other side and we're just gonna draw the line there and draw a line there as you can see I am NOT working like a civil engineer here it is very rough you don't need to be able to work on extremely perfect lines so what I'm gonna do here is now I'm just gonna cut the line in there cut this side here and do the same on the other side as well and there we go and we have the base of our planer now we just need to neaten it up a little bit and tie it up. That's what I've got the emery board here for and this little piece of sanding paper here. Just get this out of the way. It's a little bit meaty here. Now the drill bits and the sanding paper can be very handy. So I'm just going to take the other drill bit out as well. And let's see. What we've got here, okay, let me just get a black background. I think this might help a bit. Ah, uh, there's a little bit of shiny bit there, okay, but it's gonna work. Um, as you can see, there is a tiny little um, wobble there that I didn't cut it straight enough there. So, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my emery board and I'm gonna file it out. This one is 100 and 100 and 100 and 180 grit. Oh my goodness! My tongue is tying around the English today terribly. Okay, so you just need to get it straight there. It's a little bit rounded still, but it's not too bad. Let's see this side. really want to do. Okay, and the same on the other side. Okay, as you can see this one is not really perfect there. It's got a little bit of a rounded edge there and it's not really nice and rounded in there. And we've got a little bit of a bird, let's just flatten this as well. You can either file it down or you can take your scissor and you can go in a little bit more if you like to. There we go, this is going to be a little bit faster. And then to get this rounded piece here on the inside, if your drill moved a little bit and it's not perfectly round the way you like it, then what you can do is take a little piece of sanding paper and put your drill bit onto it and roll it around. So I'm just going to take off a little bit here. So your drill bit is the correct size already. Roll it over. And now this one is a small one, it's this side. You can just sand it a little bit, make sure it's 100% round there. Remember this is now going to be the side of your soap. So if it's not 100% round then it's going to leave a little pattern in there but it's not a big issue. So okay, but this is basically, that's the idea. 
there we go you can tidy it up you can neaten it you can take a little bit of alcohol and remove the permanent marker off from it so um, you can make sure that everything is 100% I'm not going to fiddle too much longer with this one on camera because it's just going to make the video longer unnecessary so what you're going to do with your piece of soap here's one that's got a this is the example soap here I've got two here that I've already done with this one but let's see yeah I've got a nice one that I've actually planed with my potato peeler before but we can do a better job with this one so the best way is to keep it upright take your planer in your hand and the moment when both sides touch the end there then it will actually stop taking any soap off so it's just gonna drag it like this and no need to be very careful and worried you're going to take off too much because it's just going to stop it when it needs to stop there we go you see i take the soap off and you scrape it there's not much coming off anymore because it already took the rounded shape there you can turn it do the other side i've got a little bit of beads here that i maybe mess up right there we go so we've got a very nice rounded corner there you can do the other sides as well so this will take a while if you've got for example 100 soaps then a commercial planer is maybe not a bad idea but if you do the odd 10 soaps or 20 soaps or so then this is easy and a cheap and a free way I must say I don't even know if a commercial planer is going to be very faster than this one there we go that side is already planed as well there we go that side there we go that one and the last side here And that one is done as well Maybe a little bit more there there we go so neatly plain soap nice rounded corners no wonky sides or anything that's skewed because the main problem with this thing is if you start on one side and you can pull it straight the same way then you get this nice flat side here but if you start on one side and you accidentally slip to the other side then you get these wonky lines and if you try to straighten them afterwards the potato peeler tend to or a vegetable peeler you can peel other stuff than potatoes as well like carrots and so on I mean anyway the vegetable peeler it tends to follow the first line and you keep on hacking away at your soap and eventually half your soap is gone and you're still not happy at the end product so there we go easiest buy I hope that this is going to help you to um, just make the presentation of yourself, take it to the next level, easy peasy, there we go, that one is already rounded, and I actually sort of think it takes off less soap than the potato peeler, because here is already two soaps and it's not that much, so there you go. That's all that there is to it. So happy soaping until I see you guys next time again. Keep well and keep safe. Be blessed. Bye.